Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like. Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. Welcome back to everyone. Good to see you guys. Um, yeah, personal reading link is in the description box below the video. <coughs> All right, let's get into your reading. So you're starting off with spy. Someone got, someone got, <laughs> someone's got their eye on you. You are doing your research. Okay. So either you're spying on someone or someone is spying on you. Okay. Or someone is spying on you and researching you. Let's see what's going on here. Hmm. What's going on here? Okay. Who are you spending Christmas with, Virgo? I'm not asking you. That's what they're looking to see. Are you going to be with your family? Are you going to be with their family? <laughs> what does this mean? Oh my goodness. Someone is spying. Are you spending Christmas together with someone? Oh my goodness. Knight of Pentacles. What? What is... Hold on. <coughs> is it another earth sign spying on you? What is going on, Virgo? Oh my gosh. Okay, I know I'm, I'm not usually, like, not saying anything, but I feel like somebody here is wondering who you're with for the holidays, if you're celebrating the holidays. Yeah, they're spying. They're looking to see. Um, they're curious if, if you're with someone. That's just what I feel like is going on. If you're... So this could, this could be a gazillion different things. They're not giving me any specifics, but there is someone who's looking to see if you're traveling or if you're spending time with someone else. It's a someone else, okay? Now, it could be somebody's ex, okay? It could be the person that you're connected to, their ex. It could be your own ex, we'll see. But yeah, I'm hearing... Is someone giving Virgo a gift? Is my person is like, okay, I feel like they're, okay, this is where it's going. There must be someone who, I'm seeing a third, I'm seeing a three party kind of thing is what they're showing me. So it's like there is a person who is either interested in you or you're already talking to, or you're already dating and they have somebody else who's spying to see, spying on them to see if there's, or it's you. It could be you to see if something's going on. Okay, that's what I'm getting. And this is someone who is kind of harsh. It could be an air sign. All right, so I know, I hope this doesn't sound confusing, but you're definitely, you and another person are being spied on. Okay, could, maybe it's your ex. Okay, so let's see. What else does we're going to need to know here? This is crazy. It, it, I just want you to take it very general. I'm trying to give a specific, but there, it's just coming in. There's just another person who's watching to see the overall who you are, if you're going to be with someone else in a love kind of thing, okay? Watching you, checking you out. There is a queen of wands here, so it could be a fire sign. So that's the first court card, Leo Sagittarius Aries. Okay. So fire sign could be watching. Or you could have a connection with a fire sign and there are persons watching. Yeah, it sounds a little, sounds a little curious, but you could be doing the same in reverse to see if someone that you're connected to. It's all about this holiday thing. Yeah, it, it, I feel like it all has to do with Christmas. Maybe you're going to someone's, are you going to be meeting someone's family or you're going to be celebrating Christmas or inviting someone that you have a connection with over the holiday? Yes. Okay. Ooh, we've got the emperor here. And the ten. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I do not know who this person is to you, but they are watching. 
they are definitely watching. Something must have ended. I feel like something has ended or they're hoping to spy and see that you and another person are not going to be together during the holiday. But why? Because I feel like they want to reach out to you or they want to talk to you. That's Cupid's Arrows, the Eight of Wands. There's something here about they want to talk to you. They're looking to see if anybody else is in the picture, if anybody else is like something else is going on. You know, if, are you going to be sitting on Santa's lap? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, what are you doing? Who are you talking to? Or Mrs. Claus's lap, whichever. There's a little bit of jealousy, I feel like, there's going on here. A sense of betrayal. All right. That's exciting. Merry freaking Christmas. Merry freaking Christmas. All right, what else? Yeah. Somebody thinks that there's some deceptive, that there's some lies or de there's some deception going on. No, Virgo, I don't know. Is there? I don't know your story. I don't know what's, what your situation. Could be a Pisces. Could be an Aries. Yeah. Look at that. Fantasy. Non-committal. Somebody is trying to find out. They think something's going on. Maybe there is. Who knows? Um, but they think something's going on and they're trying. They can't see clearly. They can't get the answer. They're like having a hard time getting the facts and the evidence. You know, that... That Seven of Cups really gives me this vibe of like, or did I say Seven of Wands and Eight of Wands? They're really having this vibe of like, I, you know, everything's cloudy. I can't see. I'm not sure. Uh, somebody is like, tr they're like trying to go by their gut. They're spying intuitively or through their gut. They think that, uh, or they're, they're trying to find out if you're with somebody else for the holidays. Okay. Yeah. There's a bit of jealousy and control. Yeah. Who are you giving your time to, Virgo? Okay, so you do have the Queen of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So like I said, as far as court cards, we are getting two feminine uh, fire and water. So it, it could be one or the other. Ten of Cups, yeah. Are you happy? Somebody wants to, they're trying to find out if you're happy. Yeah, because who want to reach out and, and, you know, talk to you over the holidays. Maybe something has ended and you're with somebody else. Why do they want to talk to Virgo? I just saw the Three of Swords, so if that pops back out again. Why do they want to talk to Virgo? Oh, they don't think something's over. They're wait they've been waiting. They're not sure if something's over. Or they're they're still waiting for, for something, some communication, which is what the three represents. They're still waiting. Oops, to talk to you or to hear from you. Somebody's waiting for you. Yep. They're waiting for reconciliation with you. Okay. All right. <laughs> they don't, there's somebody here who does not believe or they don't think something has ended. Yeah. They don't think something has ended. There's Scorpio energy there. Virgo, what is going on? Why do they think this? Why why do they think that something has not ended with Virgo? Oh. Well, they have like a very like they're very smitten with you or maybe you still chat with them or something. They they're under the impression that um they have they're very smitten though. They have like a little crush or something. They just maybe they can't believe it or they're just not accepting that something's over. Maybe it's not over and you guys are just friendly with each other. Um, you just, you know, very casual. They're, they're, there's, there might be some flirting. Okay, so this person's like really insecure. There might be some flirting. This person, um, if you guys are still like, I don't know, like it's so, it's so complex because either one you you still talk to this person and there's flirting going back and forth so they think that you're still interested or number two um they flirt with you and you respond to it so they still think there's something there or number three um they oh wait it just left hold on what were they saying Yeah, no, there was no three. There was just the number one and the number two. Either you're responding in a flirting way and it's friendly and they think there's something there or 
you're not and they're they're um or you're initiating it's either you're initiating or you're receiving they're under the impression um and it's making them feel really trapped like they're stuck so they're stuck on you and they're stuck on the communication and, and they're kind of hoping that something's not over and they want to talk to you but they they suspect that you might have there might be somebody else in the way or an obstacle blocking the ability but why but like why why do they oh okay so this person's like yeah they're really into you they really have a heart for you virgo <laughs> you stole their heart this person virgo <laughs> virgo this like i they feel like you've stolen their heart like you your sweetness or something about you i don't know what it is they're viewing the whole entire situation i feel like differently than you I, I just I get a sense I mean maybe you and this person because why would they be spying to see if there's somebody else did you guys end did something end and you're just being friendly you know it's a, it's like they still believe so how do you feel about this Virgo okay Virgo's got the tower so it's like no that's kind of dead in the water uh, that's destroyed. That thing is over. Temperance. Virgo, you're just like it. You can find it, it ended and, and I'm balanced and I'm cool and I'm patient and like it's whatever. Virgo, you're just you're just busy twirling your cups like you are just fine with it. But you're not it, at least it looks to me. I don't know exactly how you specifically feel like deep down because this might not be for everybody but there's a virgo here who's just like nah, it ended and you know I'm, I'm balanced i'm neutral if we talk we talk if we don't we don't i feel like that's kind of your energy there could be somebody on the cusp of scorpio and sagittarius that you're dealing with yeah look you're just balanced you're like you know sometimes you're the dog sometimes you're the fire hydrant sometimes you're the bug sometimes you're the windshield you know, Virgo, you have like a really good attitude towards it. You know, sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Like, I don't know what's going on with you, but you are, you're, you're balanced. It's, you know, like, why did you and this person, but like, they are still stuck on you. This person is still stuck on you. Why did something end here? Oh, lack of communication, blocking, silence someone couldn't decide no compromise someone wanted love something to go forward some somebody blocked another person or just couldn't make a decision was trying to make a decision yeah sun to have success i don't get it like these are two beautiful cards and i had cups in the sun yeah it looks like there's like a decision needed to be made Page of Pentacles. Huh. Looks like somebody might have decided to just move on. It was like, okay, love or we're not going to have love. And, you know, uh, something ended here, but it looks like it ended well in some regards. Like, I love you. I think you're fantastic. You're great. But I think that, you know, uh, I have better, I have ideas and things that I want to do and what I see for my future with someone. And this isn't going anywhere. And somebody left to some degree but no virgo this person is like 100 percent. they think you're either going to re reconcile with them or come back they're watching they're waiting they want to talk to you what do they want to say to virgo three of pentacles i want to try to work on something king of swords i want to bring clarity king of wands <laughs> oh my gosh are you with somebody else king of wands i mean it's like are you are you making something work with another person i want to move something forward is there still a chance that's what they want to talk to you about that's what they want to say Ugh, virgo <laughs> good luck with this 